Hi, my name is Kara Romero. I'm from the Chimwevi Valley Indian Reservation here in Southern California in the heart of the Mojave Desert. We're on the California side of Lake Havasu, so part of San Bernardino County. Um, I was born and raised on the reservation and went to school for photography and am honored to be one of the participating artists in Matriarchs, an exhibit put together here at ESMOA. Um, what we're looking at here is uh, my third in a series of what's called the First American Girl Dolls or First American Girl Series. Um, this one is called Naomi and Naomi is from the northernmost band of Chumash Indians uh, from the land of San Luis Obispo. Uh, they're known as the Northern Chumash Tribe. She is wearing um, her traditional dance regalia made by her mother who is a celebrated regalia maker um, here in California. Her name is Leah Mata Frawa. Um, the First American Girl series uh, is an examination of uh, past misrepresentation of indigenous women um, as dolls. Um, and it's meant to uh, reclaim uh, an identity um, to definitely show off uh, the high fashion, the high craft of regalia making, uh, as well as the dynamic and diverse ways in which uh, those regalias emerge for indigenous cultures. So if you were to look at the entire series, you would see how regalia changes from bioregion to bioregion, um, using the cultural precious items um, from their local areas to create a, a an adornment um, regalia that's used in dance and ceremony. These traditions have been passed down through thousands of years. Um, so Naomi is uh, also a celebration of traditions that have been passed through the centuries and millennia um, that come from their bioregion uh, and exist today against all odds. Naomi is also a celebration of resilience in that way. Um, that she is a modern Shumash woman um, and we uh, still have all of these practices in place. Um, to put her in a doll box was uh, an opportunity um, for the mother and I to um, display the regalia um, and all of its intricacies in a, um, an unusual way, but also in a really contemporary way that we felt we could communicate across cultures, um, that this is a modern indigenous woman, that these color schemes are very modern and that we live amidst pop culture. So that's where you see the hot pink and the black and white. It's really got that California vibe. However, um, the piece is also very nuanced. Um, and so in the black and white design around the doll box, is actually a pine cone vernacular. Um, so that's meant to represent the pine cone design, the triangles, the positive negative um, that you see in the piece um, on the pedestal to elevate the status of the pine cones to Shumash people. She's also displayed um, with uh, accessories that to a Shumash woman are most important. So when you look at other dolls and you look at their accessories, they're very different from what's important to a Shumash woman. And it was also a chance to display uh, multiple types of regalia. So while she's wearing um, one certain type of dance outfit, she's also got her other items that she can change into, which shows like a little bit more of the context, a little bit more of a thick description of um, what it is to be um, a modern Shumash woman. I think what's really important and unique to indigenous cultures is that in our regalia making um, it's a chance to uh, show love for our young ones and um, there is a great amount of love and time and resources and finances that go into adorning our children in what sometimes we call a rig, right? And they're different from tribe to tribe, so that's really important about this series is that what you see in Oklahoma is very different um, from what you see in California, and that Plains tribes are very different from California tribes, are very different from Southwest tribes. So there's over 256 recognized 
uh, tribes in North America and over 562 should be federally recognized and there's still descendants living today of all of those distinct cultures. Um, I think it's really important for people to remember the diversity of Native America. This is a great celebration of California indigenous culture, um, a chance to create visibility for California Indians um, if you've never met one. Um, it's also meant to be very inviting so that you can see that we're here and we understand pop culture, that we're very modern, but at the same time we're rooted in traditions that go back uh, to time immemorial. If I wanted to impart something um, to the students, I would uh, want to um, point them towards uh, the concept of um, colonial history. Um, that California has one of the most brutal colonial histories. And if you are not familiar with California Indians um, and the, the true history of California natives, I would like to open your hearts and your minds to um, Take a look at the history again. Um, go out and seek more knowledge um, that California Indians are here, um, that they're here and living today, and um, that there has been a great erasure um, between the turn of the century and now. Um, I think it's also uh, really unique um, in this piece, and I would like to impart to people um, the great love that goes into a mother um, making regalia for her daughter. And I think that that really speaks to the theme here of matriarchs. It's a, an intergenerational transfer of love, of knowledge, and of culture um, to adorn your future generations in the traditions of your people. So, thank you so much.